people want to talk about people saying that my previous setup was much better than this setup. I'm not, like, when people leave comments about my car, whether they're positive or negative, I usually don't defend my car because I don't feel like I have to. Because A, it's their opinion and they're entitled to it, and that's fine. And, uh, you know, B, it's my car and what they have to say about it is not a big deciding factor on how I feel about my car. I feel like when the opinion is um, coming from ignorance, they should be corrected at least. So people who say that my previous setup was better than this setup clearly have no understanding um, of why I did what I did. My previous setup was, um, it was different. And back then I was in the state of mind that when you modify your car, you should make it yours, and I still am, but not at the sacrifice, and this is just my personal opinion, I, I feel like not the best idea to sacrifice drivability and perhaps even quality just to be able to say that you're different, especially when it's your daily driver, which this is. I'm, I'm taking it back and forth to school every day of the week. Let's list off the things that were terrible about it. Um, first of all, the looks. I was not happy with the looks. Yes, it was different and, and unique and mean and aggressive, um, but the quality was shit. Um, cut fenders, cut the front bumper. Um, the fitment and of the wheels and the rear fender flares was pretty bad. The fender flares themselves were just garbage. Whoever made them clearly was missing an eyeball, had tunnel vision or something. The fitment was so bad. It's like he fitted it for a car that was smaller. Like, even on stock fitment, the, the fender flares were smaller than the wheel arches. It was terrible, terrible. And because the wheels stuck out from the fenders so much, I had to tighten my suspension so that when I hit a bump, my wheels wouldn't just uh, break my flares. The wheels were 50 pounds a piece. With the tires, it made each wheel 70 pounds. You have no idea what that means. It means that your acceleration and braking now completely suck. The wheels and tires I have on now together weigh 40 pounds. The wheels and tires I had on before were 70 pounds each. It's called a rotational mass. So doing what I did just, just raped the performance. But they're wider tires. You should have better traction. I did have better traction, but I also couldn't turn my wheel all the way because it would rub my inner fender wall. So that sucked. And again, I wasn't happy with the looks of it. I had to get rid of it. I felt like I had a car for three years that I had nothing to show for. I felt like, like, what am I doing with my car right now? So, I went back to stock look, and I couldn't be happier. I love the way it looks. It, it, it just feels better. You don't have these freaking 20 ton wheels on each corner of the car because it's drivable. I think it's clean looking. I mean, obviously it needs a paint job and side skirts, but you know, it's getting there. And I couldn't say that about my previous setup. And I know that my previous setup is what got me the followers on Instagram. Again, you should not be sacrificing drivability or quality just to get Instagram followers, especially on your daily driver. For some reason it offended people that I went back to stock. But uh, you know, I'm the one driving my car, I'm the one putting in hundreds of miles a week. And I'm definitely more happy with the way it sits now than, uh, than I was back when this thing was wide. So yeah, for exterior, for exterior modifications, it's pretty much done. I have side skirts sitting up in my bedroom, but as you can see, it's snowing outside. It is also like 20 degrees out, so I won't be doing any work to my car that I'd like to be doing. So anyways, yeah, that's, um, that's the vlog. I wanted to get a few things off my chest. 